Now, uh, what about laser? Uh, laser, uh, what, what kind of use would lasers be in dentistry at this time? This is the new, this is the new paradigm shift. And I think that everybody who goes to a general dentist is going to start to see them appearing and they should be excited by that. You sh really should be excited if your dentist told you he's brought a laser into his practice because it's for you. And there's so many things to talk about with the lasers. And it all has to do with, uh, you know, everybody sort of knows the laser from the dermatologist, the plastic surgeon. And, it, 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 you know, it's, it's a device that had a long way to go until it reached the point where it was, it was ready for dentistry. And the laser is a generic term, and it all depends on the wavelength of the laser. Different wavelengths help in different things mm -hmm. in your mouth. So we're using lasers right now in our practice. I, I say we brought the laser in to help with people with periodontal problems, mm -hmm. to help them with their gums, I guess is the, the, the common term. And, you know, if you read on the Internet or listen to people and cardiologists, this link between gum disease and cardiovascular disease, they're really starting to understand this. There was a, a professor of mine many years ago in 1984 who'd been working on that link. I think his name was Offenbacher. And if he, he, he found that there was a link, and everything seems to do today with health with inflammation. Mm -hmm. And if you talk to physicians, they talk about this C-reactive protein, mm -hmm. which is a, uh, uh, a protein that's actually, I think, made in the liver, but it's a reaction of the body to inflammation. Mm -hmm. And they found this, you know, as a byproduct of the bacterial uh, inflammation in the gums. Mm -hmm. So the, the lasers that a lot of dentists are bringing in first in their practice uh, at an 810 to 950 wavelength are killing those bacteria. And what's so exciting is it's nothing more than like shining a mini flashlight just under your gum. Mm -hmm. And when they shine that little mini flashlight under your gum, the kill rate is phenomenal, mm -hmm. like 10 to the ninth to 10 to the second, I think. I'm not really a scientist, but that's how it works, and it's really exciting. And then, uh, and the reason it works is because at that wavelength, the light is attracted to melanin, mm -hmm. which is pigmentation, mm -hmm. hemoglobin, which is blood. Mm -hmm. So what will it be attracted to? Inflamed gums. Sure. So, you know, it's, it's brilliant, and it's simple, and it's easy, and you don't need Novocaine, and you're, you're helping to create a very healthy environment which then translates to the whole body. So that's one of the most exciting things. Now there are other things coming out. Now the erbium laser, which is a different wavelength, is coming soon and that's what's going to be actually it's attracted to bone and hard tissue, which now if you think about mm -hmm. that, that's yeah, teeth. So we're going to actually ha be able to use it. The, the, they have created some now, but they don't work real well. So our other technologies are still better. Okay. But you're going to see in the future, this is going to be very exciting as well.